Welcome back to another instalment of New Zealand Bird of the Week, where in this video I will be talking about the bar-tailed godwit, birds that are most well known for their exceptional migrations. I hope you enjoy. Bar-tailed godwits are a relatively short-legged species of godwit, being the most common arctic migrant in New Zealand. They measure in at a wingspan of 70 to 80 centimetres, males weighing around 190 to 400 grams, and the larger females around 260 to 630 grams, also possessing longer bills. The subspecies that lives in New Zealand, Lamosa lepanica bori, is the largest of its species, and comprises virtually all of the birds that inhabit New Zealand, numbering around 75,000 and 150,000 worldwide. They primarily feed on polychaetes, which likely comprise over 70% of their diet, but also small bivalves and crustaceans, and when on a breeding ground, typically consume cranefly larvae and other invertebrates and berries, especially after recently arriving. In terms of appearance, they most closely resemble the black-tailed and Hudsonian godwits, although these birds possess a smoother grey-brown on the back, have prominent white and black wing bars and a white rump contrasting with their entirely black tails. The most notable thing about these birds that many of you may already know is that these animals perform the longest non-stop flights of any bird species, not feeding during the entire journey. This journey is an extraordinary 11,000 km flight to their breeding grounds in Alaska, and being able to fly this astonishing distance requires extraordinary preparation. Unlike seabirds, godwits are not able to rest on water to feed or take a break, and so therefore have to build up their fat reserves. Bar-tailed godwits, in fact, are able to carry the greatest fat loads of any migratory bird so far studied, even reducing the size of their digestive organs like their intestines, kidneys and liver to maximise the amount of fat storage, and to ensure that they don't exceed the maximum weight for efficient flight. They will also often depart early from New Zealand if there are favourable wind conditions, and seem to be able to predict weather patterns that will assist them on their migration route. Birds leave for Alaska from the second week of March to the end of the month, with their flight taking 7-9 to nine days, with an average flight speed of 56 km per hour. Once arriving in their breeding grounds, they breed in May, with the males undergoing a complete change in coloration to appear more striking to potential mates and after breeding, refuel before returning to New Zealand from September to mid-October. In terms of their conservation, bar-tailed godwits are fully protected in New Zealand, although they do face a real and potent threat from habitat loss, particularly at their critical migration stopover sites in the Yellow Sea region. And climatic changes may also have the chance of affecting their available habitats, but hopefully the bar-tailed godwits will be able to continue their remarkable flights long into the future. And with that, I thank you for watching this instalment of New Zealand Bird of the Week. For next time, you are now able to vote for the Scarlet Shearwater, a poorly known extinct shearwater only known from sub-fossil remains. And with that, I'll see you next time, whenever that may be.